Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to give you guys a heads up on a free title that you can get with Prime right now. I like to cover the free Prime titles every now and again for those of you that do have an Amazon Prime subscription. Kind of an accessory to your Prime subscription as far as, you know, whether or not you want to classify them as free. Nobody's signing up for Prime. Uh, just for the free gaming section, but nonetheless, we'll go over that. And want to highlight... Uh, two deals in particular over at GMG that are a little bit on the pricier side, but might be something you do want to check out, so we'll talk that in just a little bit. First of all, if you do have an Amazon Prime subscription, you can get a free copy of Wolfenstein The New Order, and best of all, it will be a GOG copy, I guess. You know, you guys might have uh, liked it a little bit more if it was a Steam copy, but nonetheless, Wolfenstein The New Order, pretty darn good single-player first-person shooter. It is single-player, but... Wolfenstein is a good time, pretty over the top, and can get a little bit wacky at times, but uh, overall, it's an enjoyable game, and a relatively lengthy single-player uh, campaign as well. Had a good time with New Order, you should play that, then you should play New Colossus, they're both really good games, and New Order uh, being free right now with Amazon Prime, definitely something worthwhile to take advantage of. On top of that, they've got a bunch of other titles that they've been adding, Ninja Commando, Art of Fighting 3, Book of Demons got added, which is a nice addition, Peaky Blinders Mastermind is still available, that is through the um the proprietary amazon launcher which that's always a bummer but what can you do they got a couple of other classic titles on there so have that have a look at that on top of that they've got in-game content for a plethora of games league of legends the prime gaming capsule you can take advantage of that magic a society special die pack for lost ark if you guys did get banned obviously that's a joke destiny 2 spring showers exotic bundle i know a lot of you guys have been playing destiny 2 and we'll talk that in a little bit with the expansion dropping. Uh, Forspoken's got some DLC if you want to check that out. FIFA, Prime Gaming Pack. So, you know, have a look at the in-game content as well if you're interested. But, you know, main thing, Wolfenstein New Order. Available free, a GOG copy with that. Next up, I do want to cover a pair of deals over at a Green Man Gaming, or good friends over there. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, the Legendary Edition, is 57% off for $51.60. Yes, I know that might be an immediate, whoa, $51 for this? Okay, so what this gets you is if you've never played DBZ Kakarot, it'll get you Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, the base game, and it'll get you both season passes. So this game initially came out all the way back in 2019, I want to say 2019 or 2020. And then uh, it launched with a season pass that was available. Uh, the main thing with that season pass is that you do get an extra story episode, which is the future Trunks arc, for those of you familiar, you know, where they had that dedicated movie where it was uh, what happened with the androids and the and future Trunks' timeline, etc., etc. Uh, that section is really, really good. They also have some superfluous DB Super stuff, which that is what it is. But on top of that, they're rolling out a second season pass. Uh, the first uh, part of that season pass was the uh, Bardock episode, so all of the Bardock timeline stuff. And then the second episode will be uh, s uh, the Dragon Ball, original Dragon Ball, the tournament arc of that. So that'll all be available with Season Pass 2, and on top of that, there's a third uh, arc of that Season Pass, which that hasn't been revealed yet. Hopefully, it's something to do with Broly. I don't know. I'm kind of a homer for Broly, so uh, that would be pretty cool, but we'll see how that turns out. Obviously, it's at a hefty price point, but if you're a Dragon Ball fan, uh, I would say this is relatively worthwhile. Like, DB Kakarot is going to give you a lot of gameplay for your dollar. Season Pass, the first Season Pass is pretty good. Two original episodes and the new story arc, which the Trunks uh, episode is really good. And then Season Pass 2 as well. Bear in mind that Season Pass 2 standalone was going for $40, so the fact is... You're essentially paying for that, and then you get the Legendary Edition, or you get the game and the Season Pass for 11 and change, which, if you look at it that way, it's pretty decent, so, you know, DBZ Kakarot still goes for, like, 15 to 20 bucks, even on sale, so, um, thought this was a worthwhile mention, again, a little bit on the hefty price point side, but I did enjoy, uh, Dragon Ball Kakarot, so... You know, some of you guys might as well. Uh, next up, Destiny 2 Lightfall. The standard edition is 43% off for $28.47. Uh, there is the Lightfall and Annual Pass. That is $63.74. This is a substantial discount for this expansion that just came out at the end of February. So the fact that it's already, you know, almost 50% off, 43% off, um, that's like pretty substantial in, uh, in all regards. So, I mean, if you're a fan of Destiny 2, might want to check out Lightfall. It's the latest expansion. I've heard like mixed things about it. I'm not a big Destiny 2 guy but uh one of my boys has been playing it and uh he's like 
fiending on Destiny 2, and, it, like, he always fiends on Destiny 2, um, and he told me, like, he, he thinks it's kind of mid, so, like, you know, take it for what it's worth, uh, but that's just one man's opinion, so maybe try it out for yourself if you are interested, but I'll leave links to both of those in the description box below. Again, Wolfenstein The New Order free with Amazon Prime. Go check that out if you're interested. It is a GOG copy. Dragon Ball Kakarot Legendary Edition, 57% off at 5160. I think that's a pretty good deal. And Destiny 2 Lightfall, 43% off at 2847. That's going to do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting, but as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.